Seller misconceptions about pricing the home or a home is the most difficult part of being a listing agent or a seller. A lot of sellers, if not all sellers, have certain misconceptions they've heard over the years and it affects the way they think about pricing their home. For example, the first one is everybody wants to negotiate a deal. So therefore, I'm going to make the buyer feel good. I'm going to mark my price up 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 grand. And then I'm going to meet them in the middle and they're going to be happy and love me because I gave them a good deal. Buyers don't need to feel good about buying a home. And the reason is because they will feel good because when they do actually write an offer and negotiate to, full, to, their, to their highest you know, point of value, they know what they're doing. They have smartphones. They have Zillow, Realtor.com, Trulia. They have all the data points. Matter of fact, buyers today know your value within $5,000 of what you're worth. It's amazing how brilliant they are with respect to valuation. So when you go to price a home, don't think you have to hoodwink a buyer into your deal. They're looking at your pictures, your floors, your kitchen, baths, privacy, roof age, AC age. They're making a determination of what you're worth compared to what's sold and what they know. And they know a lot. They've looked at 30 or 40 homes. So they don't need any help with valuation. You don't have to make them feel good. They always feel good at the end. And if you're not a good negotiator, they'll feel especially good at the end because you left money on the table because you didn't really do um, your job with trusting those buyers. So you'll hear more about trusting buyers in the future, which means get rid of the wiggle room. A lot of sellers think that if I price the home too low, I'll be forced to, into taking a full price offer. It's sort of like a grocery store where you walk into a grocery store and you see something for sale for $1.99, they don't have it, therefore you get a rain check. They've got to sell you that product you know, in the future. That's a rain check, right? In real estate, there are no rain checks. Um, if somebody gives you a full price offer, you don't have to take it. There's nothing in um, MLS rules or Fair Housing Act rules or anything like that that says you have to take a full price offer. You do not. The next misconception out there with sellers is I can always go down, but I can't go up. In the world of negotiating, we often drive the price higher than the list price because a list price is just a placeholder to garner offers. So our intention as, as negotiators and your intention as a seller is to get a full price offer, but just because you get a full price offer, that doesn't mean you're at full value. It doesn't speak to value at all. Matter of fact, it might be speaking to the fact that you are underpriced because on day number one or two, somebody threw a full price offer at you. So as a negotiator, you would say, well, maybe I should take a little pause here, wait three or four or five or six days and let all the other buyers that are, will make an offer because if one buyer made an offer, the other buyers are probably following suit because buyers kind of act like zebra. They all run their herd together. So if you get one full price offer, you could probably sell that home again and again and again at the full price number. So there's no hurry to take a full price offer because the value might be higher.